What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Key Air Chanel, but I go by Keeks. Keeks on the beat, Keeks with the cheeks, Kiwi, whichever one is fine with me. Today, we're doing something different. We're gonna be installing a unit on one of my clients. This unit is sponsored by Miss Coco Hair. They sent me a 24 inch loose deep wave, five by five transparent closure. And I believe it's 180% density. We're gonna jump right into the video. So, as you guys can see, my client has locks. And I'm just gonna show you guys my little tips and tricks on how I get the install to still appear natural regardless of the locks. So the first thing I wanted to point out is that you guys have to start small. You have to braid smaller sections being that the locks are textured. I have to do very small braids and I even switch out between braids and twisties. And I do that just to get the base as flat as possible. Now I'm going to be taking my got to be gel and I'm going to be slicking her edges back before I put the cap on. I don't want like the glue to get on her edges or anything like that. So this is a, this is just a protective measurement. But yeah, I'm using got to be gel and then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer and my edge brush and just slick it back until it's dry. <laughs> going to be doing my ball cap method and baby this was twice it was very snug being that she has you know thick hair but I managed to get it on and I got it to be super thin so that it doesn't look too crazy when I'm applying the glue and I'm cutting it and all that good stuff but I did go in with my primer my prep me primer you can find that on from Keeks Boutique and basically the primer is similar to makeup primer if you want your install to last longer you need to use a primer and right now you guys see me i'm going in with some foundation and i'm just covering the area that the closure is going to sit on top of this is just to give a more natural appearance if you do have multiple clients i suggest just buying a lot of la girl pro concealers in different shade ranges so that you can match it to your clientele as you see fit this foundation shade was pretty decent for her complexion <music> I'm just going to be applying one layer of adhesive and I'm going to let that dry before I cut. And this part is very crucial, guys. It definitely needs to be super dry before you get to cutting anything because if it's not dried completely and it kind of interferes with how the cap is laying and you will end up doing more work than you need to. If you ever find yourself having like a lot of uh, the fabric just rolling back a lot or something like that, then chances are your cap isn't completely dry. I forgot to mention off camera I did sew the areas where the cap was going to be the cap wasn't going to be worn on her entire hair just the closure area part if it makes sense <music> Now I'm going to be cleaning the surface. Cleaning the surface just helps your installs last longer, especially if you have clients with oily skin or any dirt residue. All of those things play a big part in how the adhesive adheres to the skin and it also plays a big part in how long your installs are gonna be. So always have a clean canvas. I'm gonna go in again with my Prep Me Lace Primer. I sprayed three layers of that. And then I'm gonna go in with my 
adhesive my stick and slate adhesive and i'm going to be using three layers of that as well one thing i want to know for this part you do not have to wait you do not have to wait for the glue to dry to apply your layers if you do let the glue dry in between it just kind of acts the adhesive performance so i tried to get all three of my layers in before that first layer even dries completely so that's why you guys see me working fairly quickly right here Now I'm just sectioning out the baby hairs and I'm going to be applying my melt band. I like to apply it before I go in and cut because it kind of helps with adhering the lace to the skin a little bit more. So I go in before I cut and I do it after I cut with the baby hairs as well. So while that is, you know, processing or whatever and doing what it's supposed to do, I'm just wetting the hair. Uh, it was a nice texture, so I just went ahead and I decided to just keep it like that. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to style it, but I didn't need to do much styling being that it was already textured hair. After that, I'm going to begin cutting the lace. You guys want to cut in a zigzag motion that'll give it a more natural appearance. Um, and I'm going to be using my I'm going to be using my eyebrow razor for this step. After you cut, you want to go back and you want you know you want to pull out the lace a little bit. And any areas that are lifting, you want to be sure that you go back and put some adhesive in those spots so that your install can last as long as it needs to. Do not ever skip that step. If anything is not in place, make sure it's in place before you move on. Um, otherwise, your install will be very short. Okay, so this part is very crucial to achieve in a very natural look, especially in her case because she do have locks. But as you guys can see, when I applied the wig on her, it's not bulky looking or anything like that. But this step just helps the wig lay flatter. You just want to take sections, really small sections, and hot comb through those sections, like every single section. And you guys will see what I mean by the time I'm done hot combing both sides. This is like one of those steps I do not skip. And I just found it to be very beneficial. It always give off scap vibe. It always gives a very flat appearance. So I definitely took my time and went through sections and sections and sections and hot combed it until I couldn't anymore. <music> Y'all, I'm so sorry, but I did not get the baby hair process on camera. I didn't know what was going on. Most of the time, I didn't know if it was filming or not, but I did the baby hairs off camera. They came out very cute. 
Um, the, the, the part is very clean. It's giving our scalp. And we're almost at the end of the video. So let me just wrap this up. Again, this is Miss Coco Hair. This was their 24-inch 5x5 transparent lace. And the texture was a loose, deep wave. One thing I hated about the hair was the fucking smell. I'm always talking about the smell of the hair. like I And I figured it out. I only complain about the smell when it comes to textured hair. And that just that just kind of um, goes hand in hand with the fact that these textures are chemically processed. So any hair that undergoes chemical processing, you're bound to get some real loud smelling hair. And then this should smell like fish. So besides, like, I couldn't get over that. I had to wash it a couple times. So I really didn't care for that. I also didn't care for how thin the hair was, the unit was. Uh, they told me they would send me 180% density, but it's not giving that. It's giving at least 130. And it looks so natural. But again, just send what you advertising because, baby, who finna pay for that? But yeah, overall, the install came out very cute. It looks very natural. You can you can't even tell she got locks underneath this wig. And that's what I love about it. Um, it was a, a great challenge for sure. And I will do it again and again and again. Um, and I'm glad that I filmed it for you guys just in case anyone is out there trying to install their wig over locks. You definitely, it's possible you definitely can achieve it. And yeah, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And turn on your post notifications so that you're aware of when I post. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.